Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're doing well and enjoying the beautiful weather wherever you may be in the world. In the US, it's springtime. No matter where you are, I'm hoping you're making the best of it. I'm so glad you joined me today because we're going to be opening up one of my favorite boxes ever, Sam's Speed Box for the month of April. Now, if you're not familiar with this box, I'll leave some information down below in the description section of this video, along with a link to the website and a coupon code in case you're interested. And I can't wait to see what's in this box, so let's go ahead and get started. And here we have Sam's Speed Box for the month of April 2024. The name of this box is Chateau in Bloom, which gives us some idea of the contents. I'm guessing it's probably spring themed. Let's go ahead and open it up. Let's take a look. Here's a little message written by Shira Dawson. It says, I remember visiting the Loire Valley. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. In France and being overwhelmed by the grand halls and majestic gardens of the Chateau. Walking around the immense estate of the Chateau de Chambord, I imagined myself in a long dress, dramatically descending the double spiraled staircase. I felt a deep sense of connection to the past when royals ruled France during the Renaissance. With the April box, we want to transport you to the Loire Valley. Imagine yourself standing in the garden of your chateau, surrounded by the scent of roses and listening to the trickling water of the fountains. To create the scene, we selected quatrefoils and cathedral cuts to depict the grand architecture, carved rose quartz, honey-toned butterflies, and soft green petals for the intricate garden and golden floral barrels and sparkling citrine for a warm sunshine. Now there's another word that I'm not familiar with, quatrefoils. I think that's how you pronounce that. I'm not sure. Let me keep reading. It says, French chateaux are a testament to the enduring power of human creativity, architecture, and vision. We can't wait to see what you create with this box. Share in our gem chat group with a hashtag, Sam Speedbox April 2024. Well, that sounds really, really delightful. And on this side are the contents. And as you can see, this month's retail value is $82. And on the left is the retail value of each item. So that's nice to know. Let me pull it out. And there's my candy. Yummy. I love candy. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness, look at these. We have some pinks. We have some ambers. We have some greens. And some cream colored beads as well. Let me pull them out. Look at that. Look how pretty these are. Oh my goodness. I know I'm going to love this box. Let me get organized and we'll go through each item. Here are the first five strands. There's a total of 10 strands in this month's box. And two of them are actually gemstones. The rest are check glass beads. This first strand is a gemstone strand. It's citrine. And look how beautiful these beads are. Oh my goodness. These are so gorgeous, guys. Look at this. Look at the sparkle. These are faceted rondel beads and they measure 5.5 by 8 millimeters. And this strand measures 5 inches and there are 17 pieces on this strand. Aren't these beautiful? Look at that. Wow, I'm so impressed. These are so gorgeous. They really are. And I love the seed beads in between. How beautiful are those? They're absolutely stunning. Let's take a look at these now. These are check glass beads and they're fire polished. They're called cathedral beads and the glass is pink, but then it has a Picasso finish. I think the Picasso is on the ends right there. I'm not sure, but to me, these actually don't look very pink. They look more like a dark amber color. In any case, they're absolutely beautiful. Very, very nice. And there's a total of 12 beads on that strand. Let's take a look at these now. These are flower beads. And they're supposed to be camellias. The color is peridot with a gold wash. Aren't these adorable? Oh my gosh, these are so adorable. I love these. They measure 14 millimeters across. Very, very nice. And very appropriate for spring. And so are these. These are actually lily beads. They measure 8.5 millimeters. I think that's the length. And the color is rustic gold. And there are 12 beads on this strand. And actually these are a little bit transparent. Let me get a light. Let's take a look. As you can see, they're transparent. Aren't they pretty? They're so pretty. But they definitely have a gold finish on the surface. Very, very nice. And let's take a look at these. These are called turbine beads. They're fire polished and the color is white silk with Picasso. And these measure 10 by 11 millimeters. And there are six on the strand, as you can see. What I like about these is that they actually have some faceting along that band there. 
I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but I really love this finish. It's so beautiful. Let me get the next five strands. Here are the next five strands. And don't you love these beautiful soft colors? They're so pretty and so romantic. Let's take a look at these. These are called satin spinner beads. And I can see why they're called satin beads, but I don't know why they're called spinner beads. I need to do a Google search and find out why. But anyway, the color is rustic white silk and they measure six millimeters. And there are 30 pieces on this strand. So it's not a stark white, it's kind of like an off-white, which I really love. Definitely rustic looking. I love the little bumps along the sides. They're so cute. And let's take a look at these pretty petal leaf beads. As you can see, there are two colors. We have this beautiful matte green color. It's actually matte green luster, that's the name of it. And then we have this rustic gold color, which is the same color as those lily flower beads that I showed you. But anyway, there are 12 beads on this strand and these measure nine by 12 millimeters. I love that gorgeous matte green, so pretty. And these are transparent, just like the lily beads. Very, very nice. I'm gonna have a lot of fun using them in some kind of a spring design. And let's take a look at these gemstones. These are rhodonite beads. And how beautiful are these guys? Look at these. Oh my goodness, these are so gorgeous. The nice thing about rhodonite is that it has a very earthy kind of pink color. It's not a very bright pink. It's very natural looking. But anyway, the other thing I like about these beads is the cut. It's called the Art Deco Cut. It's very, very pretty. And these measure six millimeters in size. And there are 29 pieces on this strand. And it's a 10 inch strand. And I love the gold seed beads in between. Gold and rhodonite actually looks very nice together. And don't they look nice with the green petal leaves? I just love the way this coordinates with the gold and everything. Let's take a look at these now. These are very interesting looking. They're called six-sided tubes and the color is rustic gold, just like the leaves and just like the lily beads. These measure seven by 18 millimeters and there are six pieces on this strand. Let me get a light behind them. As you can see, they're transparent, just like the other beads that I showed you and they have that lovely gold coating on the surface. Very pretty. Let's take a look at these now. These are tiny, they measure four millimeters across and they're dark rounds and the color is sunny white opal mix. And I think it's called mix because half the bead is opal and the other half is transparent as you can see. But anyway, there are 75 pieces on this strand and I love this size. That's one of the nice things about Sam's bead box. They always include a variety of sizes and shapes as well. So these are the strands. Let's take a look at the loose beads now. Here are the next five items. And once again, we have beautiful soft colors and that's gonna make it really easy to design something, especially when they're all kind of the same value. Sometimes when you have beads that have stronger colors than others, it's a bit challenging to come up with something that looks coordinated or aesthetically pleasing. Not that you can't do it, but it is more challenging. But anyway, let's take a look at these beads. I'll put these on my rod. Here are two of them. There's a total of four. These are called Royal Diamond Beads and the color is mint opal mixed with a gold wash. And these measure 10 by 19 millimeters. They are semi-transparent. Aren't these pretty? I've seen these before in different colors and I always love using them. They just add that little touch of elegance, I think. I love these. Let me go ahead and show you these now. I like to put them on my rod so you can see how they're drilled. And here's three of them. There's a total of five. These are called quatrefoil flower beads and the color is pale pink with a gold wash and they measure 17 millimeters across. And I did look up the meaning of quatrefoil. It's actually an architectural design element, which usually includes four lobes or four petals like these. And these are definitely transparent. Let me get a light. As you can see, they're transparent, but they do have like a frosted finish. I really love these. They're gorgeous. Let's take a look at these now. These are pretty butterflies and they're table cut. As you can see, the color is honey amber and they measure 11 by 19.5 millimeters. Aren't they adorable? They're so adorable. And of course, since there are two, that would make great earrings. Very nice. 
Let's take a look at these leaf beads now. These are grape leaf beads. And here's all four of them. The color is Peridot Mix. And I think it's the same kind of effect as these beads here. They're half transparent and half opal. And these measure 13.5 by 15 millimeters. And they definitely have a gold wash, as you can see. Aren't these beautiful? They're so beautiful. I love these. Let's take a look at these now. I have six of them here, as you can see. They're called bell flowers, and they're actually matte, and the color is pink, and they have a gold wash. And these measure five by six millimeters. And as you can see, I have these two facing each other like this. You can string them on like this, or you can string them this way. Of course, they would make great drops as well. Very, very nice. There's a total of 20, by the way. Let me get the last five items. Here are the last five items. And once again, we have more flower themed beads. These are actually gemstones. This one's rose quartz and this one's green aventurine. And these other two are check glass beads. Let's take a look at these pretty flower beads. Aren't these adorable? Look at this. Look at the beautiful finish. I love that color. It's antique stone with Picasso. And it looks like they have a silver wash. I think that's silver. But anyway, these are called vintage style rectangle beads and they measure 14 by 20 millimeters. The label on the bag says that the tone varies, which I really love. I love when there's variation. These are so beautiful, guys. I love the size too. These are gonna make a great focal. Can you imagine them on a bracelet though? They would look stunning. Let's take a look at these now. I love how transparent these are. I don't know what it is about transparent beads, but I really love them. Here's all four of them. These are called floral barrel beads and the color is yellow with a gold wash. They measure 8.5 by 15 millimeters. But look at that design, guys. Look how pretty that is. It's so gorgeous and very unusual looking. And I love the shape. They're barrel beads, but they're four-sided. Very nice. Let's take a look at these rose quartz beads. And here's all three of them. These are hand carved rose coin beads and they measure 16 millimeters across and they're pretty thick too as you can see. This brings back memories of one time that I had a rose quartz focal and I dropped it and it shattered. So guys don't ever drop one of these beads because you'll definitely regret it. But anyway these are absolutely beautiful. I love the design on these beads. Very very pretty. And it goes with the theme of the box. Definitely very French Chateau. And let's take a look at this green aventurine. They're oval shaped and they're faceted as you can see and they measure 13 by 18 millimeters. I love this shade of green. They did such a great job of matching the greens in this box. Let me take a look. Here's one of the diamond beads. Look at that guys. Don't they look great together? They're almost the same shade of green. I'm very impressed, and these are very, very pretty. Let's take a look at these now. Let me put them on a tray. We have two link components and a toggle clasp. That's your toggle clasp. And doesn't it look dainty? It's so dainty and pretty. And these are the two links. They're called Empire Links. The links measure 15 by 16.5 millimeters and this clasp is called a keepsake clasp and it measures 12.5 millimeters across. Let me look at the other side. They're the same on both sides and the links are the same on both sides as well. They're TerraCast and if you know anything about TerraCast, you'll know that they're very high quality and they're made in the USA and they're lead free. Unfortunately, TerraCast shut down their business, but obviously Sam and Rachel were able to get some more components. Or maybe they already had them in their inventory. I'm not sure. But anyways, you can see they're in an antique gold color. Very, very pretty. So now I'd like to go ahead and arrange everything on my workspace so we can see the whole collection. And here's the entire collection. The Chateau and Bloom collection inspired by the Chateau de Jambord in France. I think Shara did a wonderful job putting these beads together. The colors and the way the beads coordinate is absolutely gorgeous. I love the pinks and the greens and the golds. But like I said before, what I like about this collection is that the colors are very soft and very aesthetically pleasing. And as always, I don't really have a favorite, but I guess I do love that citrine strand and the rhodonite. 
and I like these two rectangle beads. The camellia beads are very gorgeous as well. I'm not kidding when I say that I love every single thing in this box. And I hope you're just as impressed as I am. I'm going to be busy coming up with some kind of design. So I want you to come back and check my channel for a future tutorial coming up using the contents of this box. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.